2023 NEHEP Partnership Summit Moderated Chat and Q&A with Christine Ha, MasterChef Season 3 winner, NEI Director Michael Chang, and NEHEP Planning Group member Penny Rosenblum. Communicating with your healthcare team. Thinking back to to when you were going through the, the diagnosis, and it, it sounds like it was you know a pretty challenging um, ordeal on on so many levels. What do you wish you would have been able to say to IA health providers back then to help them make your journey um, an easier journey? Oh, um, I think on the on the positive side, I had fairly a fairly good experience with, at least with my, um, my vocational rehabilitation. I think, I think with the diagnosis, and I think this goes for anything, not just the eye health or not just my situation, but I think the one important thing is as a patient, um, be very educated and advocate for your own um, well-being because what I learned through the whole process is doctors are still humans themselves. Like I think growing up, of course, like I was a stereotypical Asian American child where my parents were like, you have to be a doctor. <laughs> and I didn't want to go that route. But my parents always instilled in me the idea that doctors are like gods and they can <laughs> heal people, which they can through science and medicine. And they always place this huge importance on how doctors like do these amazing things and, and it's the best career to have. So growing up, I think I had that image in my head, like, okay, something's wrong. I go to the doctor. They're, that first doctor is immediately going to know what's wrong with me and how to fix it. And that was not the case with my situation. Uh, it took probably four years for me to be correctly diagnosed. But even before that, like, I was in this nebulous stage of not knowing what I had. And I thought that was when I started realizing, like, not all doctors are the same. There's this funny joke on, on Seinfeld where this says, half of the doctors, 50% of doctors graduate in the bottom half of their class. <laughs> but I, I kind of think, you know, not to say that that's like going to, you know, shed light on their career, their future path, but, you know, you, you do, I think we place so much importance or, or so much, um, we put doctors on a pedestal. And what I realized through my process is that doctors are human, they're also fallible. But the best you can do is learn to communicate your symptoms and what your feelings are and what your needs are to your healthcare team so that they can do their job and then best diagnose you and treat you. So I wouldn't say like, I, I don't necessarily know like what my piece of advice is for other people, but I think it starts with the patient. Um, I think as uh, professionals in this industry, I think it's important to also listen to the patient. Um, patients. I feel like a lot of times I was dismissed with how I felt about my, my symptoms. And I, I would say, like, I remember at some point I was calling my neurologist and saying, I need to get these steroids, like, right now because I can tell I'm, I'm about to get an attack and it's going to be bad in a few days. And it would still take some time or whatever. And then, sure enough, like, I didn't get the medication in time. And then I had, like, a pretty serious attack. So I think a lot of times it's about open communication, and then listening clearly and every patient and every doctor is different. So you kind of have to understand how to navigate that communication path as well. But I think just open communication, I think, is probably my, my advice for everybody in, in that situation. National Eye Institute, National Eye Health Education Program, www.nei.nih.gov slash NEHEP.